and have come. Unfortunately I am Superman of Doom Day Chapter 17. He has been here many times, but no one has ever seen him, not even how old he is, whether he is a man or a woman. Isn't the logic of these words contradictory? The male agent looked around and said in a low voice, because we can't see him. Can't see? The young female agent was stunned. Isolated room. Hearing these words through the monitoring probe, Yiming's heart moved slightly, and his thinking deliberated at an unimaginable speed. Can't see? Invisible? Or is there nobody itself? Soul existence? The intelligence is still too little to rule it out. Imagine that there are too many branches, it is difficult to judge the other party's ability and means, and Yimeng cannot prevent and detect in a targeted manner. Say a little more, information about the dragon girl. Yi Meng said anxiously in his heart. Under the urging of Yiming's heart, the male agent outside the isolation room opened his mouth and was about to continue to say something. But at this time, the corridor door opened, and the middle-aged inspector walked into the monitoring room with a fierce attitude. Inspector. In the monitoring room, a group of sitting paranormal department agents immediately stood up. The male detective, who originally wanted to speak, immediately closed his mouth tightly and stood up and saluted the young female agent. The paranormal fund department will not only face various invasion and containment dangers on a daily basis, but will either die or be disabled if you are not careful. But what is even more devastated is the spirit, and many agents are directly arranged into the spiritual hospital after experiencing various supernatural events that are unbearable for humans. Therefore, under normal circumstances, the paranormal fund department prohibits discussing supernatural events in private, let alone disclosing them to ordinary federal citizens to avoid causing social panic. Nothing special happened, did it? The middle-aged inspector swept his gaze, and then looked at the silver-haired boy lying quietly on the bed through the one-way viewing glass window. Nope. Our male agent shook his head and reported, this student. Treat us here as a hotel, sleep until now. Hmm. The middle-aged inspector bowed his head, glanced down at the watch on his wrist, and spoke in a deep voice. All cheer up, it's almost time for the appointment, that one is coming. The patron saint of the eastern jurisdiction, the leader of the invasion of the containment inspection, the dragon girl who is juxtaposed with the people of the motherland. Coming to this branch soon. Every agent in the supernatural department was in a cold heart, neatly lined up in two rows, as if greeting some god, standing motionless in the monitoring room with solemnity and awe. The paranormal division was so quiet that the needle could be heard. Time passes minute by minute. When ten minutes passed, it was about to come to 6.30 in the evening. The young female detective opened her eyes wide, stared closely into the corridor outside, and glanced at the sub-department entrance of the surveillance video. She did not see any approaching helicopters or vehicles, nor did she see any moving creatures approaching. The young female detective continued to wait patiently, and when she arrived at the appointment time to apply for testing, there was still no movement in the surveillance video and corridors. The young female detective was surprised and wanted to speak, but in the next second, she was speechless, and her thinking was like being fixed by some mysterious force. Standing in place like a sculpture. And the other agents are the same, their minds stagnant and their bodies freeze. But they know it's the Patronus spirit. Dragon girl. The middle-aged inspector could still speak, and while gesturing towards the isolation room, he respectfully spoke, the intermites who need to be tested this time are inside. Meanwhile, in the isolation room, Yimeng, lying on the bed, had a virtual electrostatic awareness signal, and was also connected to the monitoring probe in the monitoring room outside. So he also saw that the thinking of the agents seemed to be stagnant. In this instant, time seemed to stand still, and Yiming's brain worked faster than ever, like a real artificial intelligence. The information obtained earlier, listed side by side. No one can hide from him. No one has ever seen his true face. Able to descend across distant territories. There is nobody, ability is related to thinking. The other party, should it be. Yi dreamed of a possibility. After half a second, a thought seeped directly through the bulletproof glass wall of the isolation room, and did not enter the silver-haired boy who was still asleep on the bed. Three more seconds later, that consciousness quickly receded like a tide, and a neutral divine voice sounded in the middle-aged detective's mind, there is no problem with him. In addition, members of your branch show no signs of intrusion. Quote. I see. The middle-aged inspector was visibly relieved and said, you have a hard time running. The dragon girl did not respond. The other agents around them breathed a sigh of relief, their bodies shook involuntarily, and their conscious thinking was liberated from the state of suppression and stagnation. The middle-aged inspector knew that the dragon girl had left. Fortunately, there was not a single invasion of archives in our city. The middle-aged inspector's gaze fell on the silver-haired boy in the isolation room, and he ordered, wake him up and send him back. Quote dot dot dot, wake up, wake up. Under the push of the young female agent, the silver-haired boy opened his eyes nervously, yawned and sat up from the bed, and stretched his arms open. Got enough sleep? The young female detective looked at the high school student in front of her angrily. Enough. Yi Meng seemed to come to his senses, and said seriously, 
My three good students, good citizens, actively cooperate with the investigation. The investigation is over. You can go back. The young female agent was speechless for a while, and slept in the containment isolation room of the supernatural department, which was really heartwarming. Yi Mon. She secretly wrote down the name. Dot dot dot. When Yi Meng was put down by the car, he took off his black blindfold and found himself standing alone in front of the school. However, at this time, it has changed from day to night, and bright lights have been lit up everywhere in the city. Don't reveal to others what you went through today. The words of the paranormal agent driving the vehicle still lingered in his ears. Yi Meng sighed lightly, today's things need to go back and digest it well. But anyway, after knowing part of the truth about the real world, he has no interest in the upcoming federal college entrance examination. Yi Meng looked at the quiet and peaceful high school in front of him, his mood was difficult to calm down, and he recalled the thrilling scene in the containment isolation room just now. That's right, thrilling, the secret of his body was almost obtained by the dragon girl. Fortunately, Yi Meng speculated about the dragon girl's ability means half a second ago telepathy. Only thoughts can not be seen, can cross long distances, and affect the thinking of others. In the face of powerful telepathy, naturally no secrets can be hidden, and thoughts and even memories will be directly read. Upon realizing that the dragon girl may be a possessor of powerful telepathy similar to the mutant Professor X instead of choosing to resist, Yi Meng divides the sense of self in his brain in two. It is a common split disk operation for computer storage. Yi Meng places a part of his consciousness that has been appropriately edited as a base plate on the surface of his own brain. The other part of the real self-awareness and hidden secrets is temporarily transferred to the brain secret blockade. In this way, when the other party detects itself with telepathy, it reads the basic disk of Yiming's brain, and what he thinks, thinks, and even remembers is edited. The dragon girl was deceived just like that. Of course. Divide the brain's consciousness into disks. Except for Yiming, who has obtained artificial intelligence characteristics, it is estimated that no one in this world can carry out such inhuman operations. Within three seconds of being tested in the isolation room, Yi Meng and the dragon girl played an air game, telepathy met artificial intelligence, and the final result was obvious. This is also Yi Meng's first battle in the real world. Narrowly 1-0-0-2-1 destroy the Avengers. Late at night, Yi Meng returned to his single family house, took out his mobile phone, and saw concerned text messages from several people.